You're watching Musical Theater Mash. Dignity. Always dignity. Dignity. Always dignity. That's silent movie star Don Lockwood's motto. From humble beginnings as a vaudevillian fiddle player all the way up to life on the red carpet with white trench coat and silver tongue. Too bad co-star Lena Lamont doesn't share his same knack for elocution. What's the big idea? Can't a girl get a word in edgewise? Donald O'Connor is there too. I got no glory. I got no fame. I got no big mansions. I got no money. But I've got... What have I got? Lockwood is a big hit in the pictures and a bigger hit with the ladies. His co-star Lena, these ladies in the audience, this mob of gals on the street, but not motor car driving stage actress Kathy Selden. Oh! Lady, keep driving. No, get out of here. That's Debbie Reynolds. You may know her better as the grandma from Halloween Town. Miss <laughs> Selden has little patience for this movie star's life. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. And that, kids, is How I Met Your Mother. Farewell, Ethel Barrymore. I must tear myself from your side. <laughs> Shaken and stirred, Don finally arrives at the movie premiere's after party. There, a terrifying monochromatic British man demonstrates the talking picture. A talking picture. It's not a big hit. It's vulgar. Suddenly, a woman bursts from a cake. Well, if it isn't Ethel Barrymore. It's motor car driving stage actress Kathy Selden. She recites some Shakespeare and pulls a bozo on Lena. Lockwood attempts to catch her, but they don't call her motor car driving stage actress Kathy Selden for nothing. Later, on set, Donald O'Connor reassures a distraught Lockwood by doing some backflips and making out with a mannequin. Lockwood learns that Lena is the reason motor car driving stage actress Kathy Selden got fired from her baking job. Darn tootin' she did, I arranged it. And they exchange pleasantries. I don't like her half as much as I hate you. Talkies are a success, and the studio is shut down. Everybody go home until further notice! Until they can make Lockwood's current picture into a talkie. Lamont and Lockwood, they talk. Well, of course we talk, don't everybody? But there's one big pink problem. A needless newspaper montage turns into a needless musical montage turns into a needless singing fashion show. But motor car driving stage actress Kathy Selden is there, so there's that. Lockwood shows off to Kathy, they are town for a little bit, and all is forgiven. With a dance number, of course. Can't. Diction classes are going poorly for Lena and swimmingly for Lockwood. Moses supposes his toes are roses, but Moses supposes erroneously. The actors struggle to adjust to a microphoned world. Well, I can't make love to a bush! And that difficulty shines through in previews. Yes, yes, yes! No, no, no! The gang heads home to contemplate their fate over milk and sandwiches when inspiration hits. Well, why don't you turn the Dueling Cavalier into a musical? To celebrate, they knock over some furniture and remind us that we're watching a musical right now. It's also decided that motor car driving stage actress Kathy Selden will stand in for the Pink Fury's voice. Watch my mouth. The movie lives up to its name with the most well-known dance number in cinema history and the plan swings into action. Complete with music, singing, and subterfuge. And a completely unnecessary, far too lengthy, and totally technicolor dance number. But, of course, the jig is up, the plan is sabotaged, and Lena gets the upper hand. What do you think I am, dumb or something? The movie's a hit, and Lena lets it get to her head. Cut the talk, Lena, sing! Her plan backfires when she suddenly transformed from a delightful soprano into a charming baritone. Motor car driving stage actress Kathy Selden gets her due, Lockwood serenades her, and, well, Donald O'Connor is there too.